An impact crater is the scar left behind when an asteroid traveling faster than a commercial airplane or even a speeding bullet collides with the planetary surface. The moon is absolutely covered with them, a frozen-in reminder of our own planet's violent past, which, with our plate tectonics, atmosphere, and water cycle, we are constantly trying to forget. For most of us, impact craters may conjure up terrifying images of death and destruction, but that's not all there is to them. Embedded in this seeming chaos of overlapping circles is a clock of sorts that's been keeping time in our solar system since the first solid surfaces took shape. The key to reading this clock lies in the principle of superposition. Older craters will be overlapped by younger ones. Older surfaces will also have had more time to collect impacts, so, sort of like tree rings, you can count them up. And just by comparing the density of craters in different places, you can assign them relative ages. For the moon, it gets even better, because we actually have pieces of it that can be dated using radiogenic isotopes, and these provide absolute ages for particular rock samples. Using a combination of absolute ages from rock samples and relative ages from crater counts, we have a basic timeline for everything we see on the surface of the moon. Plus, this cratering history we've developed for the moon can also be used to understand cratered terrains in other parts of the solar system. So when we look at pictures of Mars or Mercury or of Jupiter's Galilean moons and Saturn's icy satellites, we can put together a coherent story for the entire solar system. Impact cratering may seem like a destructive process, and it is, but collisions also built the planets, and our birth records are encoded in the lunar surface. All we have to do is read them, and these holes in the ground are helping us do just that.